Yeah, and they had to do that by redefining social justice in a post-George Floyd America. So they did that by coming up with a peaceful march. Now, meanwhile, Connecticut leaders using this holiday to reflect on Dr. King's legacy right here in Connecticut tobacco fields. St. Peter's Church, standing room only, packed to honor a civil rights giant, children leading the way. Stepping off in the same manner as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by taking to the streets. But this is no big city march of 2020. These are quiet suburban roads in Cheshire. We can speak up for ourselves and know that like we're a part of things too. The second annual Children's March is a joint effort with the State Commission on Human Rights and Opportunity, inviting Connecticut kids to redefine social justice for themselves. What they feel about equality, what they feel about fairness, what they feel about our society and how we can come together. For Doolittle fourth grader Jeremy Works, social justice is not having to focus on skin color. We all are the same as anybody. Social justice is smiling at someone that you don't understand. It is saying hello in the grocery store. It is picking up garbage on the sidewalk and putting it in the trash. Before he was a reverend or a doctor, and before he shared his dream with the world, Martin Luther King was a teenage worker in Connecticut tobacco fields. State leaders seizing on King Day as an opportunity to reflect on Connecticut's role in King's legacy. When Martin Luther King was a student, he came to Connecticut to pick tobacco. In Connecticut, Dr. King shared with his family via letters his experience of a culture less segregated than the South. Lieutenant Governor Susan Bysowitz says that inspired his work in the South. Black people could go to theaters, could go to churches with white people, could eat at restaurants, and that inspired him. State leaders also made comparisons to Quentin Q. Williams, the state rep who passed away earlier this month. He was also 39 years old. He was the first black person to represent Middletown in the legislature. We're live in Cheshire. Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61 News.